Hey guys, Roby here with the Divi Engine team. Welcome to the Divi Form Builder documentation. In this video, I'll be showing you how to easily edit or delete your posts from the front end using the Edit Delete Post module in Divi Form Builder. So let's get right to it. Okay, so now the idea here is, is that we created this module so that you can go in and edit those posts that you create. And they don't necessarily need to be created with the Divi form builder with the front end post creation. You can kind of edit anything you want. You just need to map the fields of the Divi form builder um, edit form that you're using. Now here I've got a create post page with Divi form builder on there. And I already have my fields mapped. You can see that if I go to post title here, go to mapping, there she is. Now, if you don't know about the field mapping or how to do that stuff, there's other documentation videos that does cover that for you. So definitely go check that out. They'll be linked in the description of this video, or you can just go to the help website. Now, two components is necessary for this to work. Number one is of course, either a page with a Divi form builder form on it, or if you're using the modal feature, which I'll point out to you later, you need a library item with a form on it. Now, best practice is, is to just use the form that you use to create the post. That way you make sure that everything is hooked up and you already know that it's working fine. So that is gonna be it. And that just makes sure that all the data goes to the right spots and um, it pulls all the data from it. But the second component here is you need a theme boulder layout or the modal. You need a theme boulder layout or like I mentioned for the modal uh, library item but we're going to work with the theme builder. And if I go in here, you'll see that I have a basic layout here. This is the post title and I'm using a vanilla Divi install. I'm not using machine here. If you have Divi machine, you can create all crazy types of loops and much more detailed and visually striking layouts, but we're going to do it the simple way. Um, so this is the title module and this is the content module that you'll find in good old Divi and the theme builder. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here in this part is you're gonna to wanna to add a module and you can just type in edit and you'll see that that edit delete post uh, option comes up for that module and add it to the page here. You can see edit post, very easy to do. And we can keep all these options as is. You can decide who can edit it. Here's that show post and modal that I mentioned earlier. And we're gonna be using the edit page option. And this is an either or thing. So you just click here. And I have my post creation form here that I showed you at the beginning of this video. You can tell it to open it in a new tab. I'm not going to do that right now. And as I mentioned with the modal layout, you would need to go select something. And I actually had one that I created earlier, but I'm not gonna use that here. And then all the styling options associated with that. But that's basically it. All you need to do is drop it on there. And I just wanna show you both of the features here with this module. So I'm gonna type in edit again. But now of course we will use it as a delete button. So all I do is click the drop down here. I select delete and we probably wanna change the text to delete. And we will just go and for the button style and you don't need to do this. I'm just doing this to kind of make it very clear that this is a delete button. And that is basically it. What I would need to do is save my layout. And then if I go to the front end, let's see what that has done there. So here I am with my post and it's got all the data in here. It's using that theme builder template that I created. I'm gonna refresh it and it looks like nothing happened. But if we come down here, if I click on edit post, now it's got all the information pre-fold in here. So let's just change the title to Debbie Form Boulder Docs. There you go. And let's upload an image. I'm just gonna select this one from our Easter sale that's happening. And then all the text in there, Debbie Form Boulder Docs. I'm just gonna put that in there so that we can see that it changed. So submit that. And up here, you know, I didn't change the notice here for this form because it's on the other end. If I come back here to my posts um, and look at the form, 
we'll see that the notice actually in there would say that, but you can have a separate form with a separate message. There's a lot of different things you can do. But so now this information's in there. Now, if I go back to my original form here or the original page and I refresh it again, you'll see that the image has changed, the name has changed, and it just really makes it simple to, you know, give the users the ability to edit and work with the content from the front end. It's really great. So now let's try the, the, the more dangerous one. We're gonna delete the post, click on delete, and now that post is gone, that URL is dead. If I come to my posts here and refresh this, post is gone. So guys, that is utilizing that edit, delete, post module within the reform folder. If I didn't cover something um, that you were interested in learning, check out the documentation at help.divengine.com. Otherwise, if you get stuck, contact the amazing support team and somebody will be helping you out real quick and get you sorted. So guys, this is Roby from the Divi Engine team. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.